Good morning. Welcome back to 3 News First Edition on this Tuesday to 641. Weather has impacted school times this morning and various schools are closed. And over at CCISD, they will be on a two hour delay. Leanne Libby from the district joins us live. Leanne, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We hope that you're staying warm, first of all. Hi, good morning. Yeah, sure. Keep it warm. Shout out to Carly's fantastic hat. Yes. For those this morning. <laughs> Everybody's watching Carly closely, including, including us. So we want to make sure that parents have time to plan ahead. What is the latest update on school closures and school delays? Sure, these are always challenging uh, decisions. We have to take a lot of factors into consideration, and we do try to let our families know just as soon as we can make a decision and try not to have that decision change uh, too many times because we know that can be disruptive. So yesterday, certainly we were monitoring roads. Uh, our fantastic facilities and maintenance team, they were monitoring our schools all day to ensure that we were gonna have power as best they could ensure. Of course, some things are beyond our control, but also checking the heating systems, making sure they were all a go. Fortunately, uh, we knew that things were going to start drying out, that our roads were going to look good, and we felt it was important to go ahead and open up today and give that delay to give everybody a little time, including our people as well as our families. As far as bus routes, Leanne, what is the latest update on that? And what do parents need to know? So we're going to be open today with that two hour delay. So that's 950 for our elementary and 1050 for our middle and high school. Uh, we know for a lot of our families, uh, we do have families where school is the safest place for those kiddos to be during the day. So again, it was very important to us to be open if at all possible. We do offer that free lunch. So there'll be a meal for our kiddos as well. And we know for our high school kids, it's the beginning of the spring semester. They've got goals they're working on toward uh, graduation. So our schools will be open, you know, layer up the kiddos and get them to school you get them in and we'll have them nice and warm so once they're in we want to continue to keep these kids safe as far as recess and going outside during this cold weather what is ccisd's plan yeah, I think it's pretty much going to be an indoor day today for all of us across the coastal bend. And I know you mentioned also as well, we had some changes to our athletic schedules. Uh, we did have to postpone our high school expo that was scheduled for tonight, uh, but we will be offering that at a later date. So we'll be having everything indoors today, staying nice and warm. That sounds good. Stay indoors and of course, uh, keep them warm. If, if our viewers would like any more updated information, where can they go? Where can they visit? Sure, we always uh, put our messages out uh, through our school messenger automated uh, call or text or email system. Uh, certainly you guys have been a big help to us as well. And we also do on our official uh, social media account. So we're just asking everybody to be patient today to say thank you to those working in the carpool lane today and to our police officers who are going to be out helping everybody be safe today and hope everybody has a great day. Leanne, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks for all the work y'all are doing as well. Stay safe. Thank you.